One person is dead and two are hospitalized after taking drugs at a party. All of the victims are young men in their 20s. Tonight, investigators are trying to figure out what went wrong. Good evening, and thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 5 30. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Lauren St. Germain. Latricia Thomas is off. We wanted to learn more, so we dug into the effects of ecstasy on your body. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden joins us live with more on the story. Betsy? Well, we're outside the event hall where the incident took place. And many of us think of raves and parties. When we think of these club drugs like ecstasy, what we're not thinking about are who they're targeting. And you may be surprised to hear who they are. This is the scene many think of when they hear ecstasy, a rave filled with thousands of people, sweaty and high energy. That's why it's called a club drug. Now a young man in his 20s, Robert Allen, is dead after a possible ecstasy overdose. And two other men are in stable condition. Both admit to taking the drug while partying at the River City Event Hall. These men all fall in the target market for the drug, early teens to late 20s. What's scary is the drug is targeted to youth. It's brightly colored and can have images such as peace signs printed on it. Nationally, ecstasy use has risen over the past two years, specifically with 5th, 10th, and 12th graders. Most people try it between 13 to 18, so that's, that's the market. Uh, sellers know that if they get you hooked at that age, you'll probably continue to use it as long as you're going out partying and clubbing. The club drug is man-made and users don't have any idea what chemicals are being used or where it was made. We are told it can be made in anything from a bathtub to a toilet. The people who are making it, they don't have your health in mind. Uh, they want you to keep using it and whatever will hook you is what they're going to put in it. Chemical dependency therapists tell us many people using X are also using other drugs and are looking to keep their euphoric high. Ecstasy's high only lasts three to five hours, and that's how people end up overdosing. They're taking more to hold on to that high. When someone is a frequent user of the drug, they need a stronger dose to get that same high. And overdosing can lead to stroke, liver, and heart failure. 